We use a lot of MDF sheets in our lasers and have always been really happy with it as a laserable material. So we thought we'd share in a video what we like about it and why you should consider using it if you don't already. If you don't know, MDF stands for Medium Density Fiberboard. It's an engineered wood product, meaning that it's manufactured from scratch and isn't cut from a forest of MDF trees. Uh, duh. duh. The number one reason why we like this material is probably the cost. We currently pay about $20 for a 48 by 96 inch sheet that we have cut down into smaller pieces that will fit in our lasers. That gives us a square inch cost of less than a penny. You'll be hard pressed to find other materials with that kind of cost. And given such a low cost, it makes it a no-brainer to keep a small supply on hand for ad hoc projects or even for just running laser tests. You can find MDF in a lot of sizes and thicknesses. The most common thickness you'll find for laser use will be eighth inch and quarter inch. The overall sheet sizes will vary greatly. Full sheets will typically be a standard 48 by 96 inch in size, but there are a lot of options out there for sheets that have already been cut down to more manageable sizes. MDF is readily available from a lot of sources. You can get sheets locally or online. There's a ton of online sources for MDF. Laser supply sites will have them already sized for different laser bed dimensions, but you might be paying a premium for them. You're better off buying from a place like Amazon where sellers are forced to offer more competitive prices. We'll provide links to some good options in the description below. It's almost a certainty that your local hardware store carries sheets in different sizes and thicknesses, and it's a great option if you just need a few sheets or something quick. If you intend to use a lot of MDF, then we'd recommend seeing if you have a wood supply store nearby. This would be the type of place that supplies local contractors and woodworkers that make things like furniture and cabinets. This would undoubtedly be the best option for you in terms of price, material sizes, and availability. They might also offer a service where they'll cut larger sheets down to a size that will fit your laser. MDF works really well in lasers. It engraves really well and your laser will cut through it like butter. Unlike some cheap plywoods, there are no voids or air pockets that will screw up your cut jobs. When processing it, it doesn't give off a smell any different from other woods. And it certainly smells a lot better than acrylics. Because it's an engineered material, it's perfectly flat. Unlike plywoods that can be warped and make cutting difficult in the laser, warping isn't an issue with MDF. Again, because it's engineered, MDF has a perfectly smooth surface. This makes it great for applications where you want to apply a paper mask to keep the surface clean for post laser printing or painting, or for paint filling after engraving. MDF is very paintable. However, even though it has a super smooth surface compared to other woods, it does require that it be prepped with some kind of sealer before painting to get the best finish. Unlike other unfinished woods, however, you won't get that paint bleed under a paper mask when paint filling or spray painting engraved areas. Whether you're making a one-off project or making blanks for proc to sell, this is a great material. In the past, we've used it to make everything from computer cases to jigs for printers. We've also used it to make blank products for UV printing like coasters, signs, and bookmarks. There are really endless laserable uses for this material. Thanks for watching. Let us know in the comments what you think and what your go-to laser material of choice is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell to get notified of future projects. We have more videos coming soon. Stay tuned.